Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at something called Excel VBA, Excel Visual Basic for Applications. And this will be an introductory uh, example in one of the control structures for Excel VBA, something called a for next loop. Uh, we'll go into the details of that, but for now, notice right here I've got a for i equals 1 to rep num, and then a a statement that uh, looks like it's doing some kind of calculation and then a next i. So this is a basic idea of a for next loop. For i equals one to some number of, uh, of repetitions do something and then next says let's see if we've uh, reached the end of those repetitions and if not then increment i and then go back here and do it again. And so we're looping through uh, this part of the of the code to uh, take something called a final number, increment it, and then loop again, continuing that uh, that increment until we've done it some number of times. Okay, so this uh, looping structure is embedded within this thing called Excel VBA. Let's look at the uh, the whole idea of what's here. Well, for it to do that, then it's acting on some things we may think of as variables. Well, uh, Excel VBA needs to know well, which what variables are you using and uh, what kind of variables are they, what kind of data types. And so here we're declaring or dimension, uh, dimensioning the variables in Excel VBA, declaring variable i and start num and so forth. In this case, each one as a variable type integer. And now if we're going to go through this process, where do the, uh, the variables come from that we, uh, that we use in this calculation? Uh, well, we, we want to start with some number, uh, increment it by some amount, and then go through that process some number of times. And so I'm calling these uh, variables start num, incra num, rep num, uh, as my, my variables to do this. And they need to have some some number, some initialization of, to, to start with. Several ways of, of doing that. In this case, I'm going to get those values right from my worksheet. So the, the value given in range C4, which you can see here, which is the number 1, that's going to be my value for this variable start num. C5 for my increment, and then C6 for my number of repetitions. Uh, and then before I start this loop for the final number, I need to to set that final number to some initial value. In this case, it makes sense for it to be the starting number, that starting value. And then I go through this process. When I get through, I need to, to take that output and put it somewhere. In this case, I'm going to take the output and then put it into cell C8. Uh, okay, and so this range parentheses and quotations, the, uh, the cell uh, address gives us a way to get things from our worksheet into VBA and then from our VBA back into the worksheet. And so it's a very, uh, very convenient way to do this. Now this is, um, you, you might say I'm prototyping, I'm just writing out what this code looks like. It's not actually in VBA yet. Uh, we need to go to this developers uh, tab here, uh, and I've already uh, placed this into Excel VBA, but let's uh, let's open that up and then see how we can use it. There's several ways that we could interact and tell it to run the code. Here's one uh, sort of easy way. I can go here to this toolbox, use this button form control, and then assign that button to a a macro. Now I'm able, I've already created this macro, so now I'm just linking this button control to the macro. And so I'm selecting it, saying OK. Uh, now I could, I could modify this label and say uh, run loop. And if I click on this, it's going to run the code. And so we'll do that, then we'll look at the code. And so here's the result, 11. 
So that's the result of, uh, of starting with one, increment it in, uh, by one, and do that ten times. Uh, let's go in and look at this code here. So this, of course, looks very similar to what I showed you on the, on the worksheet. It's my mock-up. Here's the beginning and end of the sub-procedure. Here we are declaring our variables. Here we are initializing and then running through this process. Uh, now, something that, that you might find useful is being able to look at this code as it's running and, and understanding and understand what's happening. If we uh, just click on, on this, uh, then what we're doing is, is setting the ability to, to watch the code and, and monitor the values as it runs. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just set this to, to be able to stop it and, and debug it. And then I'm going to just step my way into it by clicking this. And when I do that, if I hover over these values, I can see that my final number is 2 because it, it started off with i equals 1 to repetition number of 10. My increment number is 1. My final number is 2 because it took my initial final number here, which um, which was the start number. I added one to it, and then this says i is one because it's already it's only gone through this one time. So let's tell it to go through it again. And now let's see what the numbers are. Now my final number is three, and i is two. Let me tell it again. Now i is three. Final number is four. Uh, and so forth. So this is a good way of, of understanding what's happening as my code is running. So I'm going to just uh, stop this now and, uh, and remove that and then just go back into uh, our, uh, our worksheet. So this is a, a very useful uh, tool to use for, for doing things that are either not possible in, uh, in Excel from the worksheet or that it's uh, uh, maybe much easier to do through code, several different ways of doing that. And so we'll look through some other examples as we, uh, as we go through uh, this. Thank you.